Hi, it's John. It's the 26th of January 2015. And I'm just off down the old post office. Um, got my new camera arrangement, so I'm fitting that up. Getting used to it. Seeing if it's any good, you know. So, um, just working with Windows Movie Maker sort of helps me get used to things. Right, fan off, code in. One thing about these Peugeots is you need to put a code in all the time, which is a pain. In case you forget it, which I do sometimes, or if the thing starts playing up. Got a van behind. Um, now, what I was going to say was, I just watched on the television a documentary about a woman, which they're calling the wickedest—no, not the wickedest woman in the world, because that reminded me of Alistair Crowley, the wickedest man in the world, as he was described of as once. But they've described Jodie. Cunningham, Josie Cunningham, as the most hated woman in the world, or the most hated woman in Britain. I hadn't heard of her at all, but she's been in all the tabloid newspapers because she had breast enhancement on the National Health Service, and she insisted on having the largest breasts possible. Um, she needed it for medical purposes because she didn't have any breasts and she was getting teased a lot. And then she wanted the largest breast possible to get back at the teasers and she also wanted to be a glamour model on like page three of the sun. And... Ah, please find alternative route. Road closed. This is interesting. Well, where... where? This is where I live. Um, oh, I can't. I only want to get down to the post office. Oh, let's try. <laughs> Just go round again then. Okay. Anyway, she got the uh, she got the breast enhancements, and I think she was a bit of a a model. Um, but people didn't seem to think that she should have had this five thousand pound operation on the national health. So they uh, they went against her. And she decided to play the devil's advocate and go against them. And she would provoke them and on Twitter and, and she, she's become a very famous person on Twitter. And she would say anything crazy. Uh, like uh, she was preg got pregnant and she would, she would have an abortion if they offered her to go on to Celebrity Big Brother. And things like that. Um, and she was selling places to watch her give birth. Uh, for sort of five thousand pounds each place or something like that and she had an agent anyway I can't quite remember where they came from but she did have two boys now whether they were before the breast enhancement or after I don't know anyway these boys they always appeared to be fighting and both jo Josie and her mother was saying how much, how loved the boys were and how important it was for them to be brought up in a good home and, and they were only doing all this publicity to get money for the children so to supply the boys with a good home but the boys were just fighting all the time they were only little boys and they were fighting in room and there was a, a like full length mirror and I thought cracky if one of those boys hit their head on that mirror they would be dead you know because mirror glass is very sharp and uh, it would it would just cut their head straight open um, 
Anyway, she seems to be doing quite well, Josie Cunningham. And she's come off of the dole. She was on benefits, but she's come off of the benefits. So it's, it, it's all doing quite well for her. But it reminded of me when we were children, because I was uh, three brothers. We were all three brothers. And uh, we were about a year and a half apart, each of us. And we were always fighting. We were exceedingly competitive. And boys are like that, aren't they? They're far more competitive than girls and, and a lot of little boy families they just have to fight all the time um, uh, it's very sad and you know that sort of um, and I was the youngest so I, <laughs> I was the weakest wasn't I <laughs> anyway um, so we were always fighting or we were playing competitive games now one of the competitive games that I remember us playing was like balloon football. So we had a, we lived in a semi-detached house and the hallway was about 15 feet long or something like that. But the goal was at each end. So you'd, uh, you'd have a, a, a balloon and you'd be patting this football. Um, and and if, you got, if you touched the door at the end, you'd, uh, you'd, you'd win. Uh, it's in Penley Hope Post Office, I've got there. Ah, that's it. This is ridiculous. Wow. Load is closed. Now, I've got to get to the post office. I'm going to the post office. Eh? I'm going to the post office. Post office, right. Um, Just there? Yeah, going up this side? Yeah. Um. And we used to do that, but we used to do it in a very aggressive sort of way, you know. So, uh, but it, it, was, it was sort of fun. It was sort of fun. Well, that's been a long journey. Here we are at our post office, which is open three mornings a week. And hardly anybody goes to it. But uh, there we go. Right, bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>